Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis of Witchschool.com, and I'd like to talk to you about the future World of Witches Museum, coming soon to Pickering Wharf in Salem, Massachusetts. We're very excited about the chance to work on this museum, because although there have been many modern museums of witchcraft, this will, we believe, be the first museum of modern witchcraft, focusing particularly on the modern witch movement and the modern witch community. Every year, thousands of tourists come to Salem to learn about the Salem Witch Trials, but many of them also come because they want to learn about the modern witch movement. Although the museum will be focusing on modern witchcraft, we will also have a number of historical exhibits dealing with the origins of magical practice and the origins of the witch movement. Among these will be a timeline beginning with the origins of magic in prehistory and charting its development through the centuries. Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis, and I'm here at the World of Witches Museum, or rather what's going to be the World of Witches Museum, and as you can see, we have our work cut out for us. This, uh, this installation was formerly Dracula's Castle, a haunted house, and it's being refitted into the World of Witches Museum. And we're, here we have our friend, the Grim Reaper. Say hello, Reaper. Uh, the Grim Reaper has his little alcove here, and this is going to become an exhibit of the goddess Isis and Osiris, Isis being the first great archetypical witch in history. And as we come around the corner, uh, we will be entering the stereotype room. And as you can see, here again we have our work cut out for us. And um, in this room that we're coming into is going to be the historical room. And as you can see, it's in something of disarray at the moment. Um, this little temple area is going to be refurbished for the Oracle of Delphi. And um, there's also going to be an, a, a display of Druidism and a display of Pythagoreanism in this room. Uh, and maybe, maybe some other historical things as we can get them. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Oracle of Delphi will also be speaking of the modern practice of bringing through oracles. Um, or drawing down the moon, or spirit messaging, or however you, you would prefer to describe it. And uh, we do have this lovely tree, um, and um, the tree will be emphasizing the the the, uh, the earth-based aspect of tree of life. yeah, it, it's kind of tree of life type of thing, uh, replacing the tree of death that it was <laughs> when it was a haunted house. Right. But it's a lovely tree, and so will remain part of the display. And then as we come around. Um, we enter the maze, and the maze is full of skulls. Yeah, and and the the unquiet dead who also are going to have to move on. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, but this area is going to be redone for flat exhibits, and here things are just in total disarray. Oh, and here's our friend Count uh, Somebody, and as we come up this little little patch, we will see. Everyone's favorite, Mr. Twitchy. Hello, Mr. Twitchy. Um, and this area is still emphatically in haunted house mode. Um, I like the desk. The desk is beautiful, and chances are that this area is going to be devoted to modern personalities. Okay. Oh, well, that would be a good um, idea. Yeah. Modern meaning within the last 100, 150 years. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually full-scale figures, initially probably more in the nature of photographs. And then as we come around, there's the torture chamber, ah. which uh, we can't really get too good a shot of because there's so much in the hallway. But this will be um, dedicated to both um, historical victims of witch hunts and modern victims. Because one of the things I really want to make a point of here uh, is that this is not in the past. This is right now. And this is the lovely room that we spent all of last night uh, turning into a chamber of stone, so to speak. So all you see on camera is kind of gray. So what will this room be? Uh, this will be uh, cases for artifacts ah. that will be under glass. Okay. That footage was taken one week ago, and we've made a lot of changes in just that short time. And I would like to show you some of the things we've done and some of the things still in progress, as well as introduce you to some of our volunteers who are helping with the project.
everybody, this is Lisa Folger. Hi. And Lisa is, uh, is working here in the World of Witches Museum, and uh, she's going to be muraling the, the historical room. Mm -hmm. And currently, she's creating this wonderful texture. It's right here. Yes. And um, it's incredibly realistic. <laughs> um, at least I think so. It, it's very, very cool. All right. Thank you. Hi, Marshall. Would you like to say hello to our dozens of viewers? Hello, dozens of viewers. How are you tonight? <laughs> and uh, Marshall is smoothing out the wall for the mural in the historical room. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Would you like to explain what you're doing? Uh, putting little flecks on the wall. Make it look more like stone. Very cool. Hard. <laughs> Imagine my arms will be sore. Oh. This is Michelle, everybody, and Michelle is helping us here at the museum. <laughs> and the tiny little black flecks in the stone give it a much more realistic, uh, porous look, for want of a better way to put it. Yeah. And we appreciate. You're suffering in creating this art. <laughs> no problem. And uh, if people remember, this is this is the little jail cell room, and uh, the wall, as you can see, has been completely changed. And as we come around, we meet Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Hi. <laughs> and Nikki is preparing the ceiling for painting. And this entire room is being textured as stone also. And this again will be where, uh, where displays go and uh, display cases. We're very excited about the World of Witches Museum and we hope that you'll be excited about it too. We feel that no one has ever seen anything quite like this before and we hope that it will have a major and positive impact on the world, particularly in terms of understanding what witchcraft and Wicca are really all about. This has been Reverend Don Lewis, and until next time, may you blessed be.